Hi everyone, with vSphere 5.5 out and virtual machines running at VM hardware version 10, you can no longer use the vSphere client to right click on the virtual machine and edit the settings. You'll get this prompt coming up instructing you to use the vSphere web client to edit the settings of the virtual machine. So I still use the vSphere client uh, quite a bit side by side with the web client as well mainly because of plugins such as Update Manager and in my lab here I'm running an older version of the NetApp Virtual Storage Console which is version 4.2.1 I believe now in version 5 it is integrated into the web client but if you're in a similar situation and you just need to make some quick changes to your virtual machine so in this demonstration what we want to do is we want to change this network of this MGMT1 virtual machine from local LAN into home lab internal so as you, as you saw before we could not make that change by editing the virtual machine so I'm just going to show you a quick way how to do that via power CLI so I've got my power CLI window open here and the first thing I need to do is connect into my vCenter now currently that virtual machine is connected to the local LAN network as you can see here and to change that via PowerCLI what we need to type in is the following command so get VM MGMT1 is the name of the virtual machine get network adapter set network adapter hyphen network name and the name of the network that we wish to change to which is home lab internal if I press enter on that it's going to ask me if I'm sure I want to make this change and I press Y and you can see the task at the bottom of the window there and now this virtual machine has been placed into the home lab internal network so if I go onto the virtual machine here, you can see it's now home lab internal. So that's just a quick demonstration on how to use PowerCLI without really using the vSphere client or the web client. I hope you've enjoyed this short video and we'll see you again soon.